Hi, my name is Alan Ho. Uh, I'm the product manager for Apogee's Mobile Analytics, and today I'm going to show you how to add monitoring to your iOS application for a very simple Hello World app. The first step to do is to sign in to Apogee Mobile Analytics. Then create in your new app by clicking the Create New App button. Mobile Analytics will generate unique identification keys for your app. The keys are the app ID, the consumer key, and secret key. Well, you, you will need these uh, keys when you initialize your SDK. The next step is to download the Mobile Analytics SDK. I've already downloaded it and uh, we can open it up in our... take a look at what it looks like. The InstaOps SDK framework is what you will be using for adding into your project. The next step is to add the SDK to your project. One of the very easiest ways to add the SDK to your project is simply dragging the SDK into your frameworks. Next, you're going to have to also make sure that uh, you've added the additional SDKs into your uh, into your um, dependent SDKs into your project. They include UIKit framework, which is already added, system configuration framework. Core graphics, which is already added, core location, and finally core telephony. The next step is to change the linker flags. In build settings, add uh, in build settings, look for your linker flags, other linker flags. And add the following uh, uh, additional properties. You have to make sure that you've added it for debug and release. Next step, initialize your SDK. Add the following lines to the import within your application app delegate header. Then add the following property to the property section. Then within your uh, app delegate implementation, add the following. You will now need, notice that we've done it in the uh, did finish launching with options, and you will need to copy your app ID, consumer key, and secret key from the application console.
Now let's add one additional log message so that we can detect whether or not to just make to get some log information into our app. You will also need to import the InstaOps uh, logger. I made a small error here. Now build and run your app. So I'm going to run it in an iOS simulator, I mean, iPhone simulator. All right, now uh, go to your. It, compo it approximately takes two minutes uh, for the data for the first data point from your simulator to be sent to our console. Uh, go to the app usage page and verify that a new session has been detected. It's been several minutes, and uh, after you go back to your analytics portal, you can see that there's one session. We can take a look at device uh, model. It's the iPhone simulator that we ran. And let's check our error logs. And we see one error, which corresponds to the error message that we created, the 10 minute iOS tutorial. You'll see another couple extra debug messages. This is because Apogee Mobile Analytics automatically takes any, uh, an, any application log that is generated by NSURL and is sent also to the server. Great, you're now ready to start collecting more information about your app. Thank you.